Brandon Land here from RunnersFeed.com with episode 8 of Runners Feed Live. I'm here with Back on My Feet founder, Ann Mahlum. Is that right? No, it's close though. It's Malum. <laughs> nice. All right. And uh, Ann, we just want to thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us today. Uh, we're so excited about what you're doing and we can't wait to share your vision with our viewers. So um, if you quickly just summarize uh, sort of the vision behind uh, Back on My Feet and how it got started. Sure. So our, our mission statement is to promote the self-sufficiency of the homeless population by engaging them in running to build strength, confidence, and self-esteem. And it started really simply. You know, it didn't start around all these people sitting around a conference table thinking, oh, you know, we can solve homelessness by starting running programs across the country. Uh, it's a really personal story for me. I've been a runner since I've been a teenager and really turned to running to get me through difficult times in my life. My, um, my dad is an addict. He grew up uh, recovering through drugs and alcohol, which I've never seen him engage in. But when I was 16 years old, gambling became um, an activity that my dad had a real issue with and it ended up destroying our family. And I could never really figure out a way to fix him. It, it, addiction is really hard to understand no matter at what age. And being a 16-year-old, I just couldn't grasp why he couldn't just stop. And so running provided me with this very safe place um, and all of the, the life lessons that surround the sport about taking things one step at a time, knowing you can't get to mile 10 without doing the first round in between. And it just made a lot of, a lot of uh, sense in my head about getting through difficult times and pushing forward. And so, you know, 10 years later in Philadelphia, I was running by a homeless shelter and saw this group of guys standing outside and just began to have a really fun, friendly rapport with them at 5.30 in the morning and thought, why... why why don't I take these guys running with me? Like, it makes me feel amazing, and running doesn't discriminate. doesn't matter if you're white, black, rich, poor, homeless or not. Um, maybe they can discover everything about themselves through running that I was, and, and that's how it started about, about three and a half years ago. That's actually an incredible story. Um, so did you imagine it would have taken off this way? You know, I get asked that a lot, and people kind of expect you to say no, but... Um, the way that this whole thing happened and the way that it made my life make sense in such a profound level and all the things that started happening after the idea struck, frankly, I'm just not that clever enough to plan. So it kind of makes you realize that you're a part of something bigger going on here. And I almost felt this sense of, you know, calling and responsibility that this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to make this opportunity available for as many people as possible and surround myself with all of these amazing, smart people um, to help with the business plan and, and, you know, how this whole thing is going to get to grow and spread across the country. So, yeah, you have an inkling of, like, this can really be something if you're willing to, you know, to take the take a shot on it and not be afraid to screw up. Yeah. Um, so could you maybe share, like, one success story with us that sticks out in your mind um, can be recent or, you know, maybe even when you got started? Yeah, I'll, I'll do a recent one just because those are the freshest in my head, but... Uh, I live in D.C. now, and we have a chapter here that we launched a little bit over a year ago, and one of our members named, um, named Bing, who's a great guy, one of the one of the most extraordinary people I've ever met. Zero sense of entitlement, grateful for everything he has. You know, he spent some time in jail for a crime that he committed, and uh, just came out really looking to make a fresh start for himself and, and get there however he needed to. And so he was uh, living at one of our the shelters that we work with here in, in D.C. And he started running with Back on My Feet and just, you know, continued to show up every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5.45. He watched the behaviors changing a little bit and the positivity starting to infect him. And, um, you know, uh, Bing went through the first three days of our program, moved into Next Steps, and uh, we got him employed with a restaurant here in D.C. And he's been working there ever since. Um, now lives on his own. He just ran the SunTrust National Marathon uh, about four hours or so is when he finished. But, I mean, you talk to anybody about Bing, and he just makes you want to be a better person. He, you know, is, again, so grateful for everything he has in his life, doesn't feel like he's entitled to, to a thing. And, you know, we, we obviously have all those hard measurements of how many guys are getting jobs and, and are moving their life forward from an independency standpoint because that's our mission, right, the selfishness mm -hmm. of the homeless population. But when you see the emotional changes that take place with some of our members, um, and they really start to love who they are and, and know what they're capable of, 
that's just an extraordinary thing to be a part of, and it happens, you know, again and again, so it's yeah. great. So if someone um, in another city, maybe uh, in Canada per se, was interested mm -hmm. in starting up a Back of My Feet uh, chapter, how does that go about? Yeah, I mean, reaching out to us through our website, obviously, is a great way to do that because we assess all of that, um, the demand coming from different parts of the country and even the world now, which is really cool. But we have a centralized business and expansion model where um, it's not like we have a kit where it's like, great, I'd love to start it back on my feet. Can you yeah. send me the startup materials? We're, we don't operate that way. We're too protective over the program, the organization, the brand. Um, and it's, you know, it's really comprehensive on how we do things. So. Um, we look at new markets based on, you know, the homeless situation that's there, the running market that's there, which usually are, you know, unfortunately, homelessness is usually strong in every major city. And fortunately, running exists everywhere. It's not like you have to teach people this new sport. So we look at our corporate partners. We look at where the shelters are located and how, uh, how our program might work there. And so we just do this initial assessment. But, um, you know, we're in seven markets right now. We're in Philly, Baltimore. D.C., Boston, Chicago, Dallas, and Indianapolis, and we'll be expanding to Atlanta in September, and then we have seven or so markets on our docket for 2012. That's incredible. Um, so what's coming up for Back of My Feet this summer? Yeah, we, uh, we have a really exciting event that we put on in Philadelphia. It's called the Stroman Back of My Feet 2024 race event. Uh, it's 24 hours of running. There's, there's five different races that take place throughout the, the whole event which is July 16th and 17th. So there's an ultra-marathon component, which we have people from eight different countries now coming to participate in this. So you get 24 hours to run as many loops as possible around the Scooble River Running Loop, which is an 8.4-mile distance. Um, so last year, our winner was uh, Serge Arbona from Baltimore, who ran 146 miles, which is just crazy. Um, so they, we have ultra-marathon, we have a relay, five-person relay, where you get to pick your poison in regards to how many miles what category your team wants to run. And we have a midnight run that happens at midnight where people come with Christmas lights and reflective paint and just a really sort of festive, uh, competitive run around the loop at midnight. And then we have a pajama loop that happens at 6 a.m. on Sunday morning where folks come out in their pajamas and, and race around the loop. So it's really fun. Our, our biggest fundraiser, people can find out more about that at uh, backonmyfeet.org or the race event itself, which is 20in24.com. Awesome. And we appreciate you taking the time to chat with us. Uh, we'll definitely put the, that link up on our site and uh, we'll the video and hopefully this helps to spread the word and good luck with everything. Thank you for all that you do and uh, we'll catch up with you maybe later in the summer. Sounds great. Thanks, right. Brandon. Take care, Ann. Bye.